Let's look at uh, a sample problem here. Determine the enthalpy change of the unknown reaction. So here we have equation one and equation number two. And this equation number three is really our target. Right? So what we wanna do is we wanna look for these um, products so and reactants. So look at the in the final, look at where we've got uh, H2O2, hydrogen peroxide. We've got it here in the uh, reactant side. So of course we want to make sure that it's also in line because what's going to happen with some of these, and this is a nice and simple one. These are some of the most more simpler of the questions. Sometimes you might have to rearrange these equations and I'm, as I'm going to show you um, with um, one of the, the later or the next uh, sample problem. Anyhow, let's look at here, this other uh, product, or sorry, yeah, final product, uh, water. And look, we've got water here again also on the product side now we've got oxygen here on the product side but we've got oxygen on this product side we've got oxygen on this reactant side so what we're going to do now is let's uh let's delete some of this so we can see it what we're going to do is combine really our reactants together right because well they look like they're in line with what our target equation looks like so let's line them up let's rewrite them and we're gonna get as follows. H2O2 liquid plus hydrogen gas plus a half a mole of oxygen gas is gonna react. And let's put together our products, hydrogen gas plus oxygen gas plus water. Now, so we've combined all our reactants, we've combined all our products. Again, to do this, make sure that your target equation have these same reactants on the reactant side, these same products on the product side. So now, let's look for uh, commonalities between the reactants and products. So if you look here, both on the products and reactant side, we have hydrogen gas, so hydrogen gas, cancel out. Now we've got half a mole of oxygen on this side, a full mole on this side. So what are we going to do? We're going to cancel out half a mole on this side and we're going to cancel out half a mole on this side. So all of a sudden our final reaction is going to look as follows. H2O2 liquid, no other uh, reactants, is going to decompose into half a mole of oxygen plus water. Right, so now, again, if you look at this equation, our target equation, as we said, it doesn't really matter, even though I wrote oxygen before I wrote the water, it doesn't really matter. These are still the products. So what we did really was we combined these two, the, the reactants and the products. So what we're going to do is we are going to add now this. So we're going to, our target, right? Our change in enthalpy of our target is really, we're going to add 188 kilojoules plus this negative 286 kilojoules. And just to kind of reiterate some basic math skills, right? This positive minus, right? Positive negative is going to form a negative. So what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 188 kilojoules from 286 kilojoules, and we will be, we will end up with a change in enthalpy for this, right? So this change in enthalpy is actually going to equal to minus 90. Eight kilojoules. So negative ninety-eight kilojoules. Right. So what we did was we added these two together because again we oh, we knew we we don't just right away automatically do this. We want to make sure that if we combine all our reactants together, all our products together, and we start canceling out, right, common. Uh, entities between common uh, compounds between the reactants and products and if we're we want to make sure that we're left with the same 
products and reactants as our target equation. Let us look at um, these same two equations, right, uh, in a graph form, right, showing their change in enthalpy, showing their potential energy. So we've got the target here at the bottom, right, that was the one we were trying to find. And if we look at the first um, e uh, equation, we've got hydrogen peroxide decomposes into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. And if we look at the change in enthalpy, right, we notice that it's a positive value. So we know that it is endothermic. So we know that hydrogen peroxide will have a lower uh, potential energy than the actual products. So let's put that on a graph, right? We'll put it right in the middle, right? Because all of a sudden then we're gonna see this uh, decrease as, as we're gonna show in just a second. You'll just understand why in a, in a second. So we've got um, change in enthalpy, right? And because it's endothermic, it is absorbing heat, right? So it's going to absorb heat to uh, and then form the following product. So all of a sudden here, we are going to have this change in enthalpy, right? That is a positive value, right? Positive value, uh, it will equal to 188 uh, kilojoules. Now, we've got these products... And these products now will pretty much reform once again to form water. But now notice when these two right, form, right, they come together to form water, look at that release of energy. So this reaction, this actual equation number two is actually exothermic. Right? So all of a sudden, there is a greater potential energy. Why? Because it absorbed all this extra energy. But there is a greater potential now. And then once it forms the water, it is going to give off a great deal of energy, a right? great deal of heat. So it's going to give up change in uh, enthalpy. That is minus 286 kilojoules. But now if we look at this target equation, we are starting off with hydrogen peroxide and we're ending off with water and oxygen. So in, re in actuality, this is where the target is going. This target is going from here down to here. So what we're looking at is, let's look at this new change in enthalpy. So this new change in enthalpy is the sum of these two together. So if we add these two together, we are going to get that change in enthalpy for our target that is equal to minus 98 kilojoules. So we know this overall target equation is considered also exothermic as it's giving off all this, um, all this heat. But it's not giving off as much heat from here to here as it does from here to here.